This is how insanely shredded the average GigaChad fitness subscriber looks like. Imagine thinking that you won the whole tournament by saving this penalty and then this happens. When most people go mountain biking, they do it on mountain biking trails, but this guy's built different as he's literally riding off cliffs. If you don't think this is one of the best goals you've ever seen in your entire life, you're lying to yourself. I could honestly watch this clip for hours because the passing play before the goal is so smooth. We have plusat a little for Tino Capoton here, and here he shows as if doing kicky ups normally wasn't hard enough, this guy's doing it with two prosthetic legs. It must be so insanely hard, especially not even being able to feel the ball. I don't know why, but for the first couple seconds, I thought this was an actual horse until I realised it was a person. It honestly must be so annoying being the goalkeeper and having that one person in the crowd pointing a laser pointer at your eyes 24-7. Unironically, this looks like a really fun way to get to work. It should actually be illegal to be this accurate at throwing a rugby ball. I don't know what it is about the guy's laugh who is recording, but it just makes me want to laugh as well. That was insane! <laughs> Bro took the cut so far, but he doesn't even exist anymore. I'm not sure about you guys, but I'd bet every single thing by your own that this guy's a Red Bull athlete. I swear, you only see Red Bull athletes doing this sort of crazy stuff. If I was ever moving, I'm not sure if I'd pay these guys to move my stuff, but it does look really satisfying. And you can't lie, whoever thought of this actually has 200 IQ. If I was in this guy's position, I'd be so nervous because I knew if I messed up, I'd have a hefty repair bill. I'm so insanely bad at golf that even if I cheated like this, I'd still probably come dead last. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting to happen when there's two people playing badminton with frying pans, but I can say for sure I was not expecting it to be this loud. I can't even imagine how insanely fun this must be, but I imagine it would hurt a lot if you went too fast and missed and went straight into the water. Yeah, <laughs> this guy really has super glue on his goalkeeper gloves. I've just purchased this couch off of Facebook Marketplace. It's in really good condition, like there's no tears or nothing. There's a there's a little hole right there, but that's nothing. I just gotta figure out how um get it to my house. I have a feeling you can't even buy a skateboard like this and if you want one you just have to make it yourself. I really hope this guy is trolling because it can't be good or healthy to have your face that close to a screen every single day. The funny thing is though I don't think he's trolling because he's actually doing really good on the aim routine. Aim boss? Yeah, he just made it. Okay. You'd have to pay me a gazillion dollars to even think about doing something like this. You need to be a completely different person to find this sort of stuff enjoyable. I'm not gonna lie, what this guy is doing is really impressive because I can't even do a single muscle up myself. But it is really unfortunate though that when he went upside down, his phone went into the water. At that point, there's nothing you can do but just laugh it off. <laughs> I'm not sure about you guys, but I prefer seeing this angle of a goal so much more than the ones they show you on TV.
If anyone can count the exact number of flips this guy did, I'll pin your comment down below. I honestly don't think anyone will be able to do it because this guy did about a bazillion flips. As if this video wasn't already funny enough when he missed, it makes it so much better that the ball slowly started rolling back to its original position. I would never have thought that one of these plastic tub lids would actually be able to be used as a frisbee. <laughs> this guy really took on the entire team by himself, the other team's coach must honestly be so angry at them for letting this happen. On the other hand though, it must feel so nice being the person who absolutely dominated the other team. If you've seen some of these videos before, you already know what this is, but this is called muscle scraping. Believe it or not, it's supposed to actually help with muscle recovery, even though it looks like all they're doing is destroying the muscle. Alright, I'm done. You got your chin up. Okay, go a little bit deeper, I got you. Okay, alright. If you made it this far in the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Maybe I'm just really smooth brain, but I swear it's actually difficult to walk and slide sometimes, but this guy's casually doing all of this. I think we've all seen the satisfying TikTok videos before, but I think this one is the best because it has an actual purpose instead of just wasting stuff. I have absolutely no clue where it's even possible to get a pan this big. If anyone knows why they're rubbing the tyres like this, please let me know in the comments because it looks really goofy from someone who knows nothing about drag racing. I'm pretty sure if you got hit by the slap, you'd probably get knocked out. I guarantee you, if you give a man a tyre and you place him at the top of the hill, 100% of them are gonna do exactly this. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, thanks for watching and make sure to leave a like and subscribe.